This vehicle came in for a rumbling noise in the front area. After our road test, we determined it was coming from the left front hub area. Let's get it apart and see what we have. Okay, to access the, uh, the, the hub assembly, you need to remove the caliper, bracket, and rotor. Most importantly, when you do take the caliper off, make sure you support that caliper properly so it's not hanging by the brake hose. Okay, we're ready to remove this hub from the, uh, the vehicle. We remove the spindle nut, loosen up the wiring, and of course, taking the three bolts out of the back side of the spindle. Let's slide this off. This particular unit comes off pretty easy. Depending on where you live, it may, you may need the use of a slide hammer or a hammer to get these, these hubs out of the spindles. The next thing you want to do before you install that hub is you want to clean this area within the spindle of any corrosion and rust so that when you install the new bearing, it sits flush within the uh, spindle. Okay, we've got the spindle area cleaned of any kind of corrosion or rust. Now what we're ready to do is install a hub. What we've chosen here is a Raybestos professional grade wheel hub assembly. What's nice about this wheel hub assembly, it comes with appropriate information, installation instructions, and of course a specification guide. It also comes with the new hub assembly with the new wheel speed sensor. Let's get this thing put on. Okay, we've got the hub bearing installed, all the fasteners torque the manufacturer's specification. Probably one of the most important things that you want to do is make sure, and this is where a lot of technicians make a, make a mistake in their repairs, they do not torque this, this spindle nut. It's very important that you torque the spindle nut to manufacturer's specifications to make sure that you have the proper preload on the bearings. Without that proper preload, you can shorten the life of that bearing. Let's torque that right now. This particular torque on this vehicle is 170 foot-pounds. Okay, we're good to go there. The next thing you want to do is route your ABS lines. What's nice about this package from Raybestos, it comes with all new hardware as far as routing your ABS cable. Okay, the next, next step of this uh, installation is making sure that the lateral runout is correct between the hub and the rotor. I've already cleaned this rotor area to make sure there's no rust and contaminations within it. Next thing you want to do is install that rotor under the hub using the lug nuts and conical washers. You want to torque them to manufacture specification. Now that we've installed the hub, we've cleaned the rotor, installed the rotor, and torqued the lug nuts to uh, manufacturer specification. The next step is checking lateral runout. It's very imperative on these vehicles that lateral runout is checked. The specification on this vehicle happens to be two thousandths of an inch. If lateral runout is excessive, what will end up happening is the rotor will develop what's called thickness variation and pedal pulsation in a short while. So let's check that runout right here. We're in good shape. We've got one and a half thousandths lateral run out. We're ready to put this thing back together now. Now we're ready to install the wheel. It's very important that you torque these wheels and manufacture specifications. The use of a torque stick or a torque wrench works extremely well. Okay, we're ready for our road test. Okay, after road test, the rumbling noise is gone and we've got a successful repair.